Anyone who non-consensually violates your brain-mind mentation using Mengele-like methods is a Nazi pig. You do not care what a Nazi pig thinks. You do not care about a Nazi pig's opinions. You do not respond to a Nazi pig ridiculing you, threatening you, trying to distract you, or otherwise trying to manipulate you. You work to get a Nazi pig hanged. Isn't that obvious? Don't you believe it? Then remember it and act like you know it. NPT is as sharp as a razor. The contrapositive of NPT is also useful. If they are not Nazi pigs then they are not raping your brain. So you can think anything about anyone. It's just you and the Nazis in your mind, and their opinions do not matter at all. If you have a passing thought about someone and the Nazis try to harass you with it or make you feel guilty about it, it does not matter. The Nazi pig's opinions do not matter unless they somehow help to get the pigs hanged. If you think some thought about someone who really is raping your brain, then you have some worse things to think about that Nazi piece of human garbage than what floated through your brain originally. One use of the Nazi pig theorem is to try to go on with ordinary life even as you are being tortured and you know the true, evil nature of the society you are living in. Spend some time each day working for justice in the physical world, and the rest of the time try to ignore the Nazi pigs and get on with your life as best as you can. My philosophy is basically to wish people well, and any differences I have had with people are all water under the bridge after not too long. But atrocities never, ever pass under the bridge. The victims never forget, and never should forget. Of course any victim is free to choose to forgive his or her torturers, but for torturers to lecture their victims about forgiveness is the Christianity of the oppressor. Forgiveness also does not preclude justice. The unfortunate reality is that when dealing with anyone, they are either a Nazi or a non-Nazi. Torture makes it that clear. This is the top node of the decision tree for the torture victim, and it is a stark split. Of course the difficult part is that you do not know exactly who is a Nazi pig and who is not.